Hello, my name is Noah Stein. I'm the Vehicle Dynamics Lead Engineer for Anteater Formula Racing. Over 60 students have participated in the design and manufacturing of the 2021 race vehicle, codenamed Jinx, over the course of almost two years. We designed this car to meet Formula SAE rules, and we will compete in Formula SAE Nevada, an international intercollegiate competition, this June. Our focus with this car is reliability. In the 2018 and 19 competitions, we lost valuable points due solely to reliability issues. In this presentation for Europe, we are focusing on three major redesigns for Jinx that will aim to solve reliability problems. With that, I will hand it to AFR powertrain lead engineer, Mason Soka, to discuss our redesigned cooling system. Well, on this year's car, we were able to increase cooling performance by upgrading our radiator to nearly double the size. And we were also able to increase our fan, our airflow rate through the radiator by increasing the size of the fan from two small five and a half inch fans to one large nine inch diameter fan. So this has roughly doubled the volumetric airflow rate um, compared to the two five inch diameter fans. That will allow us to have nearly double the cooling performance um, and also to overall just have a more reliable car. Hi, I'm going to be talking about the aerodynamics package. So the purpose of our sub-team is to improve the performance of the car while turning by increasing downforce and maintaining low drag values. Our team implements adjustable front and rear wings in combination with our diffuser, under tray, nose cone, and body panels, which we've been working hard to manufacture during the spring quarter using what we've learned about carbon fiber layups. In addition, our sub-team is also in charge of improving airflow to the radiator through our side pod design, as overheating was a large concern at competition in previous years. While our components were mainly iterated using CFD and Star CCM Plus, we aim to conduct physical testing after completing the manufacturing of our components using sensors and cameras mounted to the car. For this year's electronic subsystem, our focus was to improve the reliability and performance of the wiring harness. The wiring harness in previous years was somewhat messy, which made troubleshooting wiring issues challenging. The new wiring harness design is much cleaner as wires are bundled into a singular path instead of being run independently. This improves reliability as there are less chances of the wiring harness being cut or damaged. We also improved cooling of the battery charging circuit as this was a failure point in previous years. Electronic throttle control was also implemented this year, which allows for improved throttle response and is a stepping stone for paddle shifters next year. In the coming weeks before the competition, we will validate these designs through multiple full days of on-track testing in warm weather conditions. This will allow us to diagnose any further issues before our competition. We would like to acknowledge all the students who have contributed to this vehicle, as well as Professor Chiffin Georgiou, our faculty advisor, for his advice and support. Thank you so much for watching.